Hey guys, it's Chris. It's 1020 at night. I just finished restoring this A1011 drive. Just got done testing it on the uh, 3000T and it seems to be working okay. But I got a 3640 here that is in need of some serious attention. All the caps are like gone. Right here, this chip at a uh, 104, uh, if you can look at the top near the screw hole up here, you're going to notice it's got some rot and several of the pins are totally gone. It is a 7407. I don't think I'm going to hot air this one off. I'm just going to go in there with the clippers and snip that sucker out. And I don't know if it's like dry rotted or what, but all the caps are gone. And there's a lot of just stuff on the board. I can't really explain it. You can you can't really see it with the camera, but it just looks like somebody washed this in a mineral water and it just dried that just white, dusty-ish, dirty water look right next to the 68,000 where a capacitor was. This is really green. So all of this, there's a capacitor right here that, well, was there. And uh, must have shot its load all over this girl. And uh, yeah, she liked it. So I might have to replace that. And if so, I'm just going to cut that sucker out too. I'm not hot airing anything. I don't want to risk damage to the little ceramic next to it. So I'm back from upstairs. I got my pens. And uh, they were called jeweler's fiberglass pens. $12, but all I needed, whoop, ooh, nice, oh, firm. Mine's been so, uh, wore the heck out. I do like mine, though, the holder, and I'm wondering if I can just simply unscrew. There it is. Get that out of there. I'm going to take one of these apart. I'm going to see what's up. Show sure enough, that's what a full fiberglass pen looks like. No, it can't. Too loose, different, different diameter. And when you use a fiberglass pen, it will fill the underneath of the chip up with uh, all the bits from the fiberglass. We're going to recap it and replace this. Really sharp point snips are the best because you can just get in there. Oh, there we go. Alright, so here's our, well, here's our chip and here's our removed. Yay, U104. I'm just going to heat the iron up and uh, melt these legs off just like this. Boop. That one's the questionable one because these last three are going to require some magic flux. Because when the flux activates, it like turns it acid charcoal shit and ruins pads. Just like it's doing. Really just crusty up. The other ones, as you can see, perfect. These top two over here, not perfect. I don't think they're in use, but it's a quad layer board, so I don't know. There you go. See the two skaggy ones? That's what I'm trying to uh, get out of there. The problem is, is it's just hard as a freaking rock. So, bingo, look at that. Pow. Texas Instruments SN7407. So, what we do is we go in the magic parts bin here. Now what I'm doing here is taking this and throwing that away. I'm gonna line this up best I can. Work with these dill pickles on these tiny chips. I'll tell you what. That actually don't look half bad, but I'm over a little bit too far. Holy bar but I think I got it. I should have enough to stick them. Look at that, man. Holy crap. I'm proud of myself. Blind guy. Got a chip centered on up there. I think that's as max as I can zoom in. Just for, here's Pickle for reference. So yeah, pretty good job, Chris. Thank you. Now considering I didn't hot air this off, I cut it. There's flux and it's kind of crusty, but you know, I did it. Hiya! Alright, turning the studio lights on. I put her in the British female accent because it's more sexy. So those two pins are not perfect, but they're making contact with the pad and uh, 
of what's left. So that's that part. Now you can really see the scagginess of this car. Remember I told you it was like ashy? So if you look in the corner here, we're clean, right? See all the rest of the ash in here, like everywhere? For example, right there. See how that cleaned up real nice? And here above it. It's not dust, it's like this, like this guz. I don't, I don't know what it is. So this whole card is gonna need a bath. I would just toss it right in the ultrasonic, but I got a 3D print going weird. Uh, it's got a big skag. I need to get the what was left of the capacitors off of here. They were uh, Lorena Bobbitted. The noise you're hearing is a special SCSI to SD bracket for a Zulu drive. Oh, that's horrible. Once again, I'm going to have to fiberglass pen this one up because that is just horrendous. It's turned into like this, this concrete temperature. I need a lot of heat, but I can't exceed too much because the epoxy, there we go, the epoxy will come off of the board and you will lose your your pad. Somebody told me you should do a live stream of this. You out of your mind how bored you want to be. Yeah! Cleaned up enough. How about that? And I can see where the capacitors goop leaked underneath the epoxy of this basically etching right here on the sides you can barely see it I'm zoomed way in by the reference thumb but it's underneath here and on both sides here I don't know if I can fiberglass pen that out the one C107 next to it actually still has the solder on it I cannot get it off so I fiberglass penned it and I'm gonna solder on top of that with the reverse correct incorrect silk screen so yeah Luckily there's only like five caps on this board, so not too bad. And that's, that's if this card even works, you know. That one came clean. That one came clean too. Alright, so I got a couple more repairs on the way. Or will be on the way soon, I guess. That's good. I like to help you guys out if you got a busted board and you're actually going to use it. And it's economically not feasible to repair at an actual paid repair shop give those guys a try first please don't just abuse my kindness of the fellow patrons and supporters to have your stuff repaired if you're just gonna sell it that ain't cool man Not a bad leak on that one that was a uh, 105 right right here nice and clean now we're ready for caps I buy them in the zipper clip I call them like the a thing what is it called? Pick and, pick and place machine stuff? And uh, we get them in there and I slice them up into little things. So. There's a lot of things I want to share with you guys just for the historical value of it too and the enjoyment factor. Three of them are backwards and uh, C105, uh, 106, and 107. I am like out of coffee. So you see how boring this is? You know, just like that, through the magic of editing, McDonald's Chicken Nuggets and the Power of Grayskull, we got the 3640 recapped. I finally managed to get 107's concrete, old, lead, ate up, nasty, yuck, cleaned up. A lot of flux and just burned the crap out of it. Lower temperature just boiled it and then kept repeating alcohol, debraid, and finally I got enough where I said, okay, good enough. Got the cat stick, did not reverse like I'm supposed to, 105, 106, 107. I replaced that 74 whatever the heck, that little guy right down there, it's not even the size of my finger now. So I figured what better machine to test it on than my 3000 tower. So I'm going to remove this carefully. There we go. Two screws in the front, two screws in the back. All right, carefully down. This is my 3640. This is the repair 3640. They're both Rev 3.1s. Mine looks like Mr. T, got all the heat sinks on it. This one does not. Uh, they have the same wires, except this gal right here, U203, has a different one. I don't know. I'm gonna carefully fish this up here and shove it in. 
Did I get that on the first try? Sure did. Here we go. All right. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Who knows? Power on and energize. Stuck in low. It is not working. That it is, Edward. Not a working. I'm going to do the impossible and take this freaking hard drive tray out. I hate doing that, but powered screwdriver, four screws and a yank makes it a lot easier. Don't mess with me. Get out of there. Pull this off again. Just to make sure everything's cool. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Knock the speaker out. All right, maybe I didn't have it in all the way. That's what she said. <laughs> right, it is in. Still stuck in low. I want to get to the bottom of this. A-S-A-F-T. This 3640 does not work. Y'all are getting hot. I am getting video signal though, which is weird. Mega Tesket is in the drive. O40 is warm. Where it's supposed to be. That chip has been replaced. That sucks. Daddy, why do you have to be such a wanker? So, this goes out just to make sure it didn't blow the machine up. Put mine back in. 3.1 ROM screen here. So, there you go. You can see Kickstart 3.1. That just sucks the eggs on this thing. Why is it stuck in low? Why is there a bodge wire here? I don't know. Where the hell is it? Right here, this wire. Alright, it could be one of those other chips that blew ass around the caps. I don't know. I can be a real serious bitch if I don't get what I want. One and two. Alright. And yeah. Alright, should be in 60 or 30 mode. Low high. And I should get a 3.1 ROM screen. Internal CPU. I'm back to stock form. Memory. I'm just going to test chip RAM over and over again. I'm just going to let it run. I'm just going to let this run for a while. I do have a heat sink on the O30. It's at random fill 3 of 1. I let it go a while. So that sucks that that 6840 don't work. I will have to double check and check on this one. This has different resistors than mine. Mine are all blue and these have black in there. I wonder if this has been worked on. Well, I think 12 times is pretty good. So this 6840 does not work. Tested it on here, still dead in the water. I'll eat some chicken on it. We'll see what happens. So that's going to wrap it up for this useless video. And uh, at least I got my Amiga 040 back for my 3000. I put it in here because it was running better than the 030 with issues. Maybe that, who knows. We'll check back and we'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I hope you learned something. Amazing drive, Chris. Keep the Amiga dream alive. Please consider joining the Patreon for as little as $1 a month or more if you're worth your rich. Again, can't say enough. So as Dr. Chris would say, thank you for watching and as always, we hope you learned something. Funny, you bastard.